Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you're back as always, welcome back. Today I am here with a sneak peek unboxing. So thank you so much to Diamond Art Club for sending this kit over for me to share with all of you. Um, Diamond Art Club, you're keeping us on our toes this week, <laughs> leaving it a mystery up to the last moment if you were going to be dropping any kits for us this week. And oh my gosh, I am so excited about what you have for us this week. I can't get over it. So um, what I have to share with you all is it's Hermione. Look. Okay. So we have seen um, a few different uh, pieces from Diamond Art Club and their Harry Potter collab that are in this style with kind of the pink background and the character and all of the elements on the background. And I am so excited that we finally get the fabulous Hermione. So um, if you guys didn't know, by the way, Diamond Art Club did recently sign an amazing licensing deal with Warner Brothers and we're getting to see, oh my gosh, so many fantastic kits as a result of that. Um, so there have been several sets of Harry Potter releases already, and I have a feeling we have even more to come. So uh, let's go ahead and start to get into this kit. So how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing really, really well. And um, I hope that you're excited about this. Another week of Harry Potter releases. Now, something that's really fun about these releases of is that they have special branding on the boxes. Um, all this gold foiling effect is really neat. And then even this background here, it's just, oh my gosh, they had way, way, way too much fun and I love it so much. So let's go ahead and get into this, you guys. I'm so excited. This is on a little bit on the bigger side because with all of those details in the background, of course, we need to have, oh, that new toolkit is wanting to be stuck in there, come on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> We're gonna need plenty of space to be able to make out all of those details. Uh, so this this kit does come with one of the new toolkits. I know that a lot of you are asking, how can I know like if the kit that I'm ordering is going to come with a new toolkit? Um, unfortunately, at the moment, there's not a hard and fast way to know. The one thing that I have noticed so far is that all of the Warner Brothers related kits have come with the new toolkit. Otherwise, it's just gonna be a gradual transition to where new releases going forward are gonna continue to gradually come with the new toolkits, but um, the older toolkits are still a really uh, nice quality. This just has a few more extras and a couple of minor changes. So the first change that you might notice is that the, they have switched over to a reusable and recyclable bag that all the tools come in. So I'll take a little bit less plastic. <laughs> we also have our pen and a squishy. Your mileage may vary as far as the actual colors that you receive. We get, um, I have seen this come with multiple plastic multi-placers. It looks like this one maybe just came with one. That's okay. You also get uh, this clear sparkly tray and it comes with a stopper, which is really convenient that just kind of pops right in there. It's also gold, uh, clear and gold sparkles. You're also going to get a caddy with some wax. There's two plates of pink heart wax in here. I really like Diamond Art Club's pink wax. It's a really nice quality. You also get a bag of plastic baggies. <laughs> you can store your leftover drills in. Uh, we have a pair of tweezers, which this still has the protectors on them. Um, I don't think that they are keeping the pink ombre tweezers. I think that they're gonna be black, but they're still gonna have the uh, branding on them. And then two of the newest additions are a roll of washi tape and a cover minder. They don't necessarily match the kit that uh, you order, but uh, there's a kind of a wide variety that you can get. So you can use the washi tape um, to, I like to do it on the border to cover up any of the poured glue that goes past the edge of the drill field. I also use washi tape to section off my canvas because that's how I like to work on canvases. And the cover minder, if you're not sure what that is for, um, it has a magnet on the back and you can use that actually to uh, hold back the plastic while you're working on a section. How are we? Oh, we're sideways. Okay. Look. Oh my goodness. 
so stinking cute. Oh, I love it so much. Let me set this to the side. I'm gonna help this canvas lay a little more flat. Now, Diamond Art Club um, uses a really high quality poured glue. And the canvas itself is also, I've found to be a really nice quality. It's a little bit on the thicker side um, and it rolls flat really easily and holds drills really nicely. So if you have a canvas like this that was not wanting to necessarily lay flat right away, you can roll it backwards like I just did and that will help. You can also peel back the, back the plastic cover about halfway, then lay it back down and then do the same from the other direction and that will also help it lay flat. But this seems to have done the trick, so I'm not gonna mess with that. Now, included in this kit, you get a booklet. It says thank you for your purchase. And it has all of the info that you need for diamond painting, including step-by-step -step instructions and a link to a video with step-by-step -step video instructions. I highly recommend that you join their VIP Facebook group because they are regularly sharing behind the scenes stuff. Today they put up a poll where we got to vote on our favorite artwork that they've licensed recently to see what's gonna be made into diamond painting kits. So definitely join that group. There's also some tips and tricks and a discount code. Now this is for 10% off. You'll find discount codes in a variety of other places such as at the bottom of your canvas, often on your packing slip. Um, if you're in the VIP group, there's a group exclusive discount code. Um, and also if you're brand new to Diamond Art Club and are looking to make your first purchase, I have a discount code that you're more than welcome to use that would save you 20% off your first purchase. That discount code is just my name, K-A-T-I-E, Katie, and the number 20. Um, if you do choose to use that code, I may make a small commission. Please, please, please do not feel obligated at all. Um, thank you in advance if you do choose to use it, but like I said, no obligation. Just don't pay full price for Diamond Art Club. They have discount codes everywhere. Like I said, they don't want you to pay full price. So don't pay full price. <laughs> anyway, you'll notice that uh, if you've seen Diamond Art Club's kits unboxed before, you may have noticed that there are two things that you did not see me share in this unboxing so far. And um, that is the small logbook sticker and the larger inventory sticker sheet uh, that has a spot for you to write your start and end date, has all the info about the painting, and then has the pre-cut uh, symbol stickers that you can use for kitting up. For the first run of, it seems like all of the Warner Brothers kits specifically, um, there was a hiccup where they weren't able to print those for the first run, um, which I know is inconvenient, but Diamond Art Club has uh, listed those, um, both the logbook sticker and the inventory sheet as PDFs on the individual listings for each kit that is missing those things. You can get sticker paper from Amazon for relatively inexpensive, or you can even just print off the PDF on regular just paper. And uh, if you have something like a Xyron sticker maker, you can feed that through and make labels that way. Uh, there's just a couple of different ways you can do it. But anyway, let's take a little look at the different elements of the canvas. So first we have the branding here up at the top. Do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. Also notice that the edges of the canvas are scalloped and they're finished. You're not gonna have to worry about any fraying. Over here at the top left, we have our legend. And the color code, this is the same as the DMC color code. Um, and in Diamond Art Club's numbering system though, any numbers under the number 150 are going to be AB drills. If you're not sure what AB drills are, I will explain once we actually start to look at the diamonds together. Um, but I do have to say right off the bat, this is a very minor pet peeve of mine. I do wish that as far as symbols go that they just would have put these in the correct order instead of one, four, two, three like one, two, three, four, because I'm afraid that I'm gonna <laughs> look at the wrong thing when I'm actually going to place the diamonds. Uh, let's see, I wanna take a look and see if there are any symbols we think we might mix up. There's a couple that seem similar, so we'll take a look at the drill field together in just a bit, and I'll point out any that seem really similar to one another as we go. Here at the bottom left, we have the thumbnail of the original artwork, as well as all the information about the artwork and the kit itself. This is gonna be 70 by 70. And if I didn't, I don't think I mentioned, it's gonna have 47 colors. And I believe this one is 
Round drills. I had to double check the diamonds. No, square. Square drills. Please, please, please. <laughs> don't, don't misquote me. <laughs> um, and then there's info here about the licensing. So something that Diamond Art Club does that I am, um, that's really important to me and to a lot of other crafters and creators is Diamond Art Club has legally licensed all of the artwork that they use in diamond painting form. Um, and so when art, when something, you have something like art theft that's really common in the crafting industry, it's really, really nice to see a company that's trying to do right by artists and do things the right way. Here's the info about Diamond Art Club's social media pages and then info about their lifetime warranty. So if you ever, uh, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> if you ever have any trouble with the canvas, the drills, the glue, um, what have you, just reach out to their customer service or send them a message on Facebook and they will get you taken care of. Let's take a look together at the different uh, uh, bits on the drill field here. So we have Polyjuice Potion, oh my gosh. Everything seems to be printed super clearly. What are those? We have our Time Turner, of course. Books, of course. <laughs> There's her Yule Ball gown. Of course, she's a Gryffindor. <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa <laughs> books of course look how cute her face is I love this art style so much I've seen that they um that there is like washi tape out there that matches this like kind of chibi art style so love it and then Crookshanks and then more books of course love 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 it uh at first glance I was so busy looking at like the different fun parts of the canvas. I didn't look as closely at the symbols as I meant to. Um, everything does seem to be printed pretty clearly. I am not seeing any symbols that look to be really similar to one another to the point that I think I'm going to mix them up. So yeah, good. So, so cute. Let me grab my tape measure. Let's do a quick measurement and see if this is measuring true to size. Usually Diamond Art Club's canvases do measure true to size, but I always like to double check. 70 centimeters by just a tick shy of 70. So we're gonna call that true to size. I usually give companies a centimeter or two of wiggle room. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at the diamonds together. Look at all that pink. How many bags of that pink background color do you think we have? <laughs> All right, so moment of appreciation and silence for the beautiful packing job on these drills that I will never be able to replicate. So right off the bat, <laughs> a whole strand of this pink. Three, three, two, six is the background color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we have more. I think they max out at like 10 bags of the same color in a strand or something. So 10 bags so far of that pink color. I see more, do I see more? Is that the same one? 3326, yep. Okay, so they're just really trying to throw me off. There's a couple here in the middle of this strand, but we'll start at the end. 3371 is a darker color. We have four bags of that. And then here we have one, two, three. This is that same background color of 3326. And here is our first AB drill. Now, like I said, if you're not familiar, um, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And that is just referring to this special, super sparkly, amazing iridescent coating that is on the tops of these diamonds. You can see that while the base color of this diamond is white, the colors on the top are reflecting blue, pink, yellow, green, you know, just a really, really pretty little rainbow. So the areas that these have been charted uh, are just gonna sparkle even more than the regular diamonds. And they're gonna draw your eye to those areas a little bit and just, um, enhance those areas really beautifully. You can use it to kind of accent those areas. So we will take a look together at where the four ABs in this kit are going to go, but there's our first one, this beautiful white AB. <laughs> Another, just a couple of random bags of 3326 in here. <laughs> and then some uh, browns here, maybe in her hair and robe. 
And then here we have our second AB 102, a black AB. Now the effect of that iridescent coating on the top is kind of an oil slick. There's like uh, pinks and greens and blues and yellows. Uh, this is one of those ABs that people tend to either really, really, really love or maybe have mixed feelings about. So I'm a little bit particular about where I like to see these charted. Um, and I think they can be really, really stunning and eye catching. Uh, so we'll take a look together and see where there's going to go. But those are going to go. I think it's going to be in the text if I had to guess. Uh, but we'll take a look together. So that's our second AB. Now, I also also wanted to mention that Diamond Art Club did recently begin manufacturing all of their diamonds in house. And I find that the difference is most noticeable with the square drills um, because now they're so much more uniform in size. There's very, very, very little trash and they're extra, extra sparkly. Hold that thought. Our third AB 104, it's this really pretty peachy AB. I don't see this one very often, I don't think. That's really pretty and it's kind of subtle I like that. Uh, the main way that I think you can tell the difference between the old and the new diamonds is by looking at the facets on the tops of the diamonds. Uh, the new ones are all going to have the same number of facets on the top. Uh, they're all gonna have 13 facets, whereas the older diamonds uh, will have a mix of nine and 13 facets. Here is our fourth and final AB in this kit, 131, this light, happy orange color. Is that gonna be in Crookshanks, do we think? <laughs> and then just one more strand. These are the colors that I think we're just gonna have tiny handfuls of uh, for the various like small little elements on the canvas. <laughs> Pinks, reds. Oh my gosh, just the smallest handfuls of colors. But this is going to make for such a striking and vibrant kit. I, I have found that Diamond Art Club usually includes more than enough diamonds that you don't run out. But again, if you ever do run out or have trouble with your diamonds, contact Diamond Art Club and they can send you new ones and get you taken care of. So there's all of our diamonds. Okay, that was 47 colors. Now let's look at the canvas together and see exactly where those gorgeous ABs are going to go, starting at the bottom. So that white AB, that I think is what we're gonna see the most of throughout this canvas. Uh, there are a number of white ABs through these quills here, as well as highlighting and outlining this potion bottle. There's a little bit in the white highlights of the cauldron. Uh, a little bit in the areas that kind of um, shine on Hermione's clothes, like here on her stockings, and then here on her robes and skirts where you see the white, those are white ABs. There's none in her skin tone, which I approve of <laughs> and appreciate. Um, now I see that happy orange AB here in the time turner and a little bit of the white here in the middle. Uh, more of the white AB outlining in the book as well as in the trunk over here. I see white AB in all of the white that you see in the dress. Again, just highlights all over. That's gonna be so pretty. I wanna make sure I'm not missing. Let's keep moving up. All right, so yes, that black AB with kind of that oil slick effect is all in the text here as well as the text over here. So Time Turner and Hermione Granger are all in that black AB. That's gonna sparkle so, so, so much. If you don't find that you like the look of the black AB, I have a feeling you probably have some square 310 drills which are just your regular black drills in your stash if you worked on a diamond art club kit before you could totally swap those out if you wanted to as we keep going up again there's white highlighting in her clothes um that is the white ab we have a little bit of that orange ab that light orange ab here in her is she wearing a bracelet here that's kind of where this there's a scarf up here or the tie yeah yeah, yeah. that's what it is and then we have white ABs here highlighting a bit of these bottles. 
where is that light peach AB? I don't feel, oh, I see it. Okay, uh, since I just mentioned it, I'll jump, jump to that. The highlights in her hair, the light brown highlights in her hair are that really pretty beige peach AB. That is gonna be really, really pretty. I like that a lot. Uh, the Gryffindor banner here has some of the white AB throughout. The scarf has some of the white AB outlining the edges. Uh, the book has a bit of the white AB where you see white. The scarf also has some big chunks of the light orange AB. Crookshanks has a white AB in each eye and a little bit of AB, white AB in uh, his tail. And then the outlining here in the books, as well as in these potions bottles, there are white ABs and uh, the magic coming out of our wand over here. And a tiny sprinkling of those brown, beige, peach, whatever you want to call them, ABs, sprinkled lightly through the wand, as well as, did I see? Nope, my eyes are just playing tricks on me. Oh, there's the orange AB. There's a little bit here outlining on this book. So ABs sprinkled throughout. I really, really like what I'm seeing as far as where the ABs have been charted. So yay, Diamond Art Club, I love it. <laughs> so again, uh, the name of this kit, which I don't remember if I said the full name at the beginning, the full name of this kit is Hermione Granger Magical. And it coordinates perfectly with the other characters that we've seen uh, this style of artwork in. We think we've had Harry and Ron and Luna so far. So now we have Hermione as well. Um, but this is going to release tomorrow, which is Saturday, January 15th at 9 a.m. Pacific time for Ruby and Diamond level rewards members. And then half an hour later at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time for the general release. So these Harry Potter kits have been selling out pretty quickly, even though Diamond Art Club has tried to order lots in anticipation of demand. But I do recommend that if this looks like a kit that you want to get for yourself, um, don't sleep on it. <laughs> so like I said, this will be releasing along with the other Harry Potter themed releases tomorrow, 9 a.m. Pacific time for the Ruby and Diamond level members, and then half an hour later for the general release. Um, so be sure to set your alarms. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Uh, but before I wrap up this video, I do have one more thing to do. And that is to announce my giveaway winner from my belated sneak peek slash first looked video that I shared earlier this week. Diamond Art Club had extremely generously offered to donate um, a copy of that kit, which was the Suicide Squad, which was part of, again, Diamond Art Club's Warner Brothers licensing agreement. Um, so I had given all the instructions for how to enter for that, and I have drawn my winner. And uh, for this person, I'm gonna get in touch with you and, and uh, verify your identity so that you make sure that you're the one that gets the kit that you've won. Uh, but the winner of the Suicide Squad kit is Janet Smith. <laughs> Janet says, hello. Well, you did it again. I had no intention of buying this painting, but after viewing your unboxing, I have to have it. It does look like a lot of work, but it should be fun. I don't know all of the squad, but seeing Harley Quinn in some of the other diamond paintings, plus my granddaughter is named Harley, I think she is my favorite. Thank you for the unboxing and making me love diamond painting more just by watching your videos. Have a good rest of your week. Janet. So yay, congrats, Janet. I hope you really love working on this kit and how perfect that you have a granddaughter named Harley. I hope that this kit is a lot of fun to work on um, and look for me to get in touch with you on uh, your comment on your last video. So anyway, my friends, I uh, just wanna say a huge thank you to Diamond Art Club again for donating that kit for that giveaway and also for sending me this Harry Potter kit for me to get to share with you all ahead of the weekend's releases. So let me know, please, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, I'd be more than happy to help. Um, if you are new to Diamond Art Club and looking at making your first purchase, like I said, I do have that discount code below that you're welcome to use. Um, otherwise, like I said, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. <laughs> Good luck to you if you are going for any of the Harry Potter kits this weekend, uh, but otherwise, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, would you mind giving it a thumbs up before you head out? And of course, if you're not already subscribed and would like to see lots more diamond painting content from me, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my little community here. All right, my friends, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.